but we go ahead, take out this last blocker. Exile that, swing for eight. That damn Aldrazi over there is still living there. Oh my goodness, that's a good card. This makes four four trolls, so we can't really worry about that. So we say an angel here. Huge draw there. Draw cards. This is about to pop off, so our spirit's about to be huge. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, punish like hell. Indestructible. Does it mean it can't be fed the serpent and they're tapped out? How's it going, y'all? Titan Smash MTG, and today we're here for day one of the Arena Open. This is a sealed competition, which sealed being something we never play. Uh, I actually don't think I've ever played sealed in here. Maybe once back when Arena like first came out, but I'm just not a big limited person, honestly. But the Arena Opens are always kind of fun. Uh, in real life, I enjoy sealed and pre-leases and that kind of thing. So I figured I'd give this a shot and see how it goes. Expectations are low, but we're going to try it out. We've already got our snazzy little Vorn clay sleeve, at least. So that's cool. Or art. So we're doing the best of one version here. I figured it seems like you have a little bit better odds to make day two uh, with best of one just because you have the three different losses you can take. So we'll try it out. So let's go ahead and select this, see what we get here for our pool open. Give me something good, baby. It's actually not terrible, it seems. Um, Starheim is a bomb. Uh, Bears of the Jarts actually seems decent too. Uh, Crippling Fear actually be good here okay well we'll see what we got i refuse to play it to balls trickery though okay so let's just look over what we got in our cards here for white stuff uh and again one thing with this is like you don't really want to be super aggressive uh unless you just have like a really really good aggressive deck here and limited it seems like this format's been a lot slower uh so we're definitely no matter what we're going to have white here because starheim and unleashed is just that good and the good news is we just need one white source to play it um, let's see if we have anything otherwise. Yeah, unfortunately, like most of our other white stuff here, it kind of sucks, and that's the only bad thing. Uh, Star Valkyrie is a good card, but again, we may not be aggressive enough for that. Sorry, I got on a sneeze fit there. So in the blue, and blue is something I just really don't like playing in limited. Uh, obviously, I was saying you don't want to be aggressive, but blue cards just kind of typically don't do it for me in these type of things. We got some okay stuff here. Nothing crazy though. Black, we have Dust Builder, which is a good aggressive card. Village Rice isn't bad. Priest could be fine. Man. Having Vargroth and Crippling Fear is not too bad though. Feed the Serpent, good removal, and we have two of those, so. Black is looking actually pretty good right now. Skull Raid actually is not a bad discard spell either because even if you whiff on the discard part, then you get to draw cards, which is nice. So I think we'll be going black here. Red. To Balch Trickery. Yeah. Nothing really in red we like here. Green seems to have some decent stuff here. Just Bar Sentinel. Excuse me. Not too bad. This helps us get that planes we may need if we splash the white. Three Cerules. Okay. Well, we're going, we're going green for sure. So let's see what else we got here. So we're going to be going green, at least black and green, splashing some white, it looks like. Herald, just a way to, you know, dig a little bit. I don't think we want to do Pirate Heroes. Like, it's a neat thing. I just don't think it's really going to work for us. Replication Ring helping us uh, mana fix a little bit is not too bad. So let's, let's kind of go back to the start here. Let's go to our Y stuff. We want the snow-covered plains. And I think we're just really just barely splashing on the white here for Starnheim. It's just such a good card that you don't you don't not put that in your deck. Uh, blue cards we don't care about. Let's go to the black here. <clears throat> I'm just going to throw these in here for now, and then we can kind of cut as we need to go. Unless it's a card like, like this, I just I don't think I want Race the Draugr. Really a 3-1 lifelink. Wargoth we can do. Crippling Fear. Feed the Serpent. 3-2 Flash. Fingers Battlefield. Destroy Target Creature. Okay. I can see that actually being good. Especially with Fortel. So we'll do that. Skull Raid's fine. 
I think it's a top end that's actually not too bad either. Turn a target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield if it's an elf creature too. Okay, that's, I mean that's not terrible either, especially since we have the foretell on it. So we'll try that. Um, we'll throw the village right in there too. Green. We'll throw the forest, the sentinels, the path, the world tree. Uh, this is actually kind of unassuming, but this thing just murdered me the one uh, draft I actually played. I'm going to put this in here for now, but we may end up cutting it. Same with this. Whoop. <clears throat> Pack of Meat is an all-star, though. I'm going to put the spirits in there for now. We may end up like taking them out. And I think we just want one big old threat to slam down. Let's see here. Chasm comes in for sure. Harold comes in for sure. The tree line can come in. <sighs> Do we want a stronghold? I guess it just depends on how many planes we play. I'll go ahead and put it in there for now. It sucks we have these green blue spells, but I don't really want to splash a fourth color in there. That seems a little bit too much. I don't think we play enough tribal stuff for Bloodline Predator to be good. Same with Pirate Heroes. Like, it just seems like it's a little bit wonky there. Um, I'll put the longboat here for now too, just to look at it. So as far as snow lands here, we have a plains. One, two, three, four. Only four snow lands. Do we miss any snow lands here at all? Ice tunnel, which we may want to have in there just for the black. I'll throw that in there for now too. So we want to have around 17 cards. We're on a super high, high mana curve deck at least. And we have ways to ramp and get stuff. So that's actually not too bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 15, 16, 17. So we're good on the lands there. We need to cut 7 cards. I think I want all these bigger cards here. And again, maybe I'm just doing this all wrong. Maybe this is awful. Who knows? Um, I think we'll keep the Glade Wardens. We don't have a ton of creatures, but being able to make them big is nice. Also, think I do want the Crippling Fear. Uh, we do have quite a bit of them. I mean, we have Elf, Elf, Elf. We also have Warriors. Uh, we have ways to make this kind of work, I think. Man, I'm kind of tempted to splash blue just for those two uh, Simic cards. I just don't think that's the way to go. Priest just doesn't seem good here, right? Kind of weird removal spell. We don't have enough snow lands to make that work. Also, don't know if we want Dusk Builder here, to be honest. This only crews for one, which is nice, so maybe we want it still. So I don't think we've played enough creatures for this Glade Warden to actually be that good, so I'd actually go take that out. I think I may... We just don't want to take out all of our creatures thing. Uh, Longboat actually is probably going to be too slow here as well. Sentinel, I think we do want, even though we don't play a ton of creatures, I think just having the mana ramp is probably worth it with two of those. Maybe Village Rites just isn't good because we just, again, don't play enough cheap creatures for this. we got to cut two more things. Path of the World Tree is tempting because I don't think we're going to be here, but we have the Replicate in Rings, the Jaspera Sentinels, and this late game this is a way to just do a lot of stuff here. With all the ramp we have, I may remove like one forest, and hopefully I don't live to regret that. And then maybe just cut down. Do we just need the, Maybe we just don't need this Dust Wilder. Let's run this at it and see how it goes. Again, this may be totally awful. You can let me know in the comments if it is. But let's try this out see how it goes. Let's go. All right, first game of the day here is against La Inspiration. Let's see if we can take him down. See if this deck has any legs. Uh, we have colors. We have things to do. Wow. We'll keep that. Let's start off here at the snow-covered forest. Just spare a sentinel. Pass the turn. This next turn, we'll probably be playing uh, just for telling this Starheim Unleashed. Need a black source for Herald. 
But we still have these Horizon Seekers, which can seek those out, so... Let's go and just foretell this for now. Big swings for one. Big swings. Could just make a 4-4 this next turn and get on the beatdown plan, but I don't think that's where we want to be. I think I actually want to do this and then play Herald as well. So let's go ahead and do this. So actually a pretty aggressive start for us, all things considered. We whiff there, but we still have a 3-2 menace, which isn't terrible. And there's some thought that maybe I was supposed to do the Horizon Seeker here instead, just to guarantee we hit a land drop this next turn. Boring left, right. Okay. I think I'm just playing both Horizon Seekers here. Or I could foretell this. One, two, three, four mana. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just playing out one of these. I guarantee I hit a land drop this next turn. So let's go ahead and just do that for now. Best turn. One, two, three, four. We could play Starheim for two this next turn, which actually probably isn't bad either. We may just want to pop that off. Augury Raven, decent card, but doesn't stand up to the 4-4s. Four I'd like to wait till I get like one more Angel off this if possible, though. So right now we do X, 1, 2. And I can also attack in uh, with one of these here. If they double block or something like that, uh, Yarl can flash in and finish. That's not too terrible either, to be honest. Could also boast here for two, one, two. Then I'd have a land to play, one, two, three, four. So I can still do Yarl, so I think we actually do that. So I'm gonna swing him with both of these. Harold has Menace, so if they wanna block that, they've got a double block. I'm gonna go get a black source off of this Horizon Seeker. Go ahead and do this. Get our swampy swamp. And yeah, these will just trade, which I think I'm okay with. No Boreal Outrider buffs for them. Now we have one, two, three. Actually, I get, yeah, we have three mana now. Uh, so I think we're just actually playing another Horizon Seeker. tempo play for him, but nothing too scary there. Oh, and they're swinging. No fear in there, Derju. All right, the frost. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I could trade the Sentinel for the Alkri Raven there. X, one, two. Gosh, we're so close. I think I'm actually okay just skull rating here, getting them down to one card. I, I just want to keep pressuring them too, though. That's the thing. I can also play this and foretell the Yarl. Let's go to tax here. Get him to guarantee three damage. Play Horizon Seeker and then foretell the Strat Yarl. And then I'll probably need to actually play my bomb instead of just holding on to it this whole time. Because we're not hitting our land drops. Three, six, seven, eight. 
If I hit a land, I can make three angels, and that's definitely the play there, if that's the case. God, we just can't hit lands to save our life. Um... Two mana left open. We're not dead in the air yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, sort of. Hmm. I think we're just goes for Starheim here. X, one, two. Go ahead and just do this now because I have nothing else I can do with that mana. And for here, I think we just trade. Or we at least offer the trade. Okay. We got these two vigilant angels, which is nice. That way, this next turn, if there's holding back, we can try to feed the serpent on this raven. Hopefully, just get in there. Okay, that's GG's. So we say no blocks here. Even missing land, we get there. Woodland Chasm coming in a little bit late. But we go ahead, take out this last blocker. Exile that, swing for eight. Good first game there, getting the win. Starheim Unleashed, even with the missed land drops there, we get there. So 1-0 start here. Let's go ahead and play another. Game number two is against Norm the Rhino. It's an interesting name there. On the draw here, decent little hand though. Turn two path to go find us a white source, I guess. So yeah, we'll keep this. I mean, this curve sets up pretty nicely. We actually have snow permanence to play here to make the spirit good, so. Not too bad. Opponent moles a six. Okay. We have our Yarl here, which we could flash in also. We could, you know, we could go ahead and just foretell that, but I just don't think that's the way to go right now. Uh, Packmate. Packmate probably is, though. So I think we just foretell this for now. That way we can still play Ice Tunnel and then play Pack Mate out. Draw a card. Ooh, they missed a land. You love to see that. Let's go ahead, cast this. That's a 3 3 on the board. That's a land on the board. Ice Tunnel tap, pass the turn. So this next turn we play Spirit of Asgard or Elder Guard. Get us a land. Delivering Frost. They ramp him. Dang, we're kind of just doing it all right now. Um, let's... Yeah, I think we're just playing Spirit here. Thin the deck out a little bit. Guarantee we hit another land drop. Put it into our hand. There's nothing for five mana that I think we'll want to do. I think I'm actually just taking this Arctic Tree line here. Swing for three. Swinging for six next turn. Maybe we can just be the beatdown deck here. Like, say, if they play a big creature, we just feed the serpent and get the swing for uh, swing for six. Now, this could be a Doom Scar since they're in white. Could be a Starheim at least. We can't say anything about that because we have one too. And one nice thing about this having flash is we can foretell this on our turn, and then the very next turn, like on an instep, we could just flash us in if we needed to. So, we got options. Okay, so that's annoying, but, you know, not a huge deal. For five mana, I think we actually do want to do five mana things here, right? I think we want to path the world tree. I think we have a snow-covered forest. We do, okay. 
So we grab that, put that into play. We can go ahead and swing here just to guarantee we get three damage in. So I'll take that, and then I think we just play Horizon Seeker here. Pass the turn. So luckily they just played a four mana four two or two four, which isn't amazing or anything. We have Warrior Spirit, Wolf, like none of these things, like Crippling Fear is kind of awkward right now. Okay, they foretell again. Spooky. Three, six, I mean, I could just go for nine damage here. If I do this, we still have three mana available. If I do this, I can X all that, get to attacking. Swing nine and get him down to five, which also seems pretty good. Actually, we just play that Arctic tree line. Let's go ahead, play this tree line here. That's a four, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Getting down to four seems really good. I think that's what we actually want to do. Just be the aggro deck now. Let's try to get that out of here. They could counter it. Nope. Big swings. They're beholding. Behold's fine. As long as our board ain't getting wiped, I think we're in good shape. And it's also worth note that since I have the Spirit of the Elder Guard here, and we're getting them down to four, that if they play any creature that's, a, you know, three toughness or whatever, uh, even if they kind of went wide here, I could just do this naming a wolf or a bear spirit or whatever we need to name. Uh, and just have the Spirit of Older Guard get us there by itself. We have green, white, blue, black. This could add red. We might actually have to pop off World Street, which is pretty funny. So they have one, two, three, four, five mana right now. Unless it's Doomscar, I think we're in good shape. Yeah, baby. That's a 2-0 actually getting to be the aggressive deck here so sweet 2-0 start love to see it let's go and play another all right next game here is against borrow can we borrow a win sir on the play here we like that hands so this hands actually i mean it's not as slow as it looks because of this foretell card so we keep this um definitely one that looks a little spooky but not as spooky as it may appear Dejata Mirror Blade. So here we go in for Tell. Yeah, and this is actually shaping up pretty nicely now. It's a little annoying because our stuff wants to block that. Um I think we got to play the Horizon Seeker here and hope to be able to boast. I will trade this off to boast just to get a white source though. Just because Starnheim is that important of a card. Okay. We're taking some damage here. Actually not bad either, but we definitely need that land drop. So let's go ahead, go to tax. Kind of weird on there, and I feel like they're like there's they look like a super aggressive deck. I would feel like they would want to just get the beats in, and then we still go ahead. I mean, I could flash this in and block, but I think just for telling Star and I'm here is nice. That way, if you draw a land next turn, I think we're just making two four fours <clears throat> and trying to win in the air because two four fours followed by a possible six six that gains four life is a pretty good clock. Okay, the heart cast the pack mate. Give us a land, baby. Thank you, thank you. What do you say we play a couple of four fours?
Played a couple 4 4s, maybe draw an untapped land and gain some life with our 6 6. That'd be nice. Now they could just bounce these or something. In the colors they are, they can definitely just have bounce effects. We do have to start blocking, even though I really don't want to. Okay. Guardian Blade Walker. It's pretty good. We can just exile that, though. Okay, another Feed the Serpent isn't terrible. I think here we're playing a Horizon Seeker. Actually, maybe we're playing like a Vargroth. That way next turn we can boast for a land. Let's go to tax here first, see what happens. Vigilance, so... Big Schwines. And I think we want a blocker that can actually kill anything. So let's do this and we'll hold up the Jarl to flash in. I'm actually okay just blocking that Breakneck Berserker. Let's go ahead and flash this in. Yeah, I think we just want to trade there. Okay. I'd like to keep this alive just because if I do attack anything that I attack with is going to die. Ooh, okay, that's good, but again, we have a good blocker for it. Oh, gosh. I mean, I could just feed the Serpent on this as well, and I think just holding this up is probably the way to go. So we can play a Sentinel and then hold up Feed the Serpent. That doesn't change the clock any, which is nice. It doesn't have reach. So yeah, let's just pass the turn, holding up Feed the Serpent. Again, a little bit mana screwed here, but hopefully it doesn't affect us too bad. If they don't have a way to stop our flyers here, then we're in good shape. Bam, baby! 3-0! We doing the dang thing so far. Heck of a start right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can keep it up. Let's go. Game number four is against Swagda Mikolio. Swagda Mikolio, that's a name. Again, great hand here, man. We're getting some good hands. Very rampy hand, too, which I actually like that. Play the tunnel to start it off with. Pass the turn. Path the world tree on two. Probably replicating ring on three. For now, let's go ahead and just play this down. Get us a... We have snow covered swamp. I guess we don't, do we? We do need a swamp though, so let's go ahead and just grab that for now. Okay, they foretell here. Let's go ahead and play the swamp. And so I can play Replicating Ring or I can play Horizon Seeker. I think I actually want to play Horizon Seeker. That way next turn I can play a planes, play a replicating ring, and then still boast. Now we need to find some more things to do here. I'm okay trading this if they want to trade. So let's play planes, replicating ring, move to attacks, see if they want to block. Fine by that. Let's go ahead and do this now. And again, I think we're just getting our other. We have we have two black now, so. I think snow cover permanent is the way that we go now. Pass the turn. Oof. Battle Mammoth will still draw them a card, but. So here we're just going to play this. And I think while they don't have any answers to it, they can draw a card, but. I think we still just gotta take that out now. So that's a mythic down for them. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, man, they they got a bunch of bombs here, my god. That is rough. Oh boy. So I think here we are just sacking this now. 
So we'll have them lose two life, do two damage to this. Draw two cards. No attacks. So we got the pop of world tree there, so that's a thing. But still, they go Battle Mammoth and the Seekers Chariot. That's like two of the best cards you can have in this format, so uh, our work is cut out for us here. And I had to use the you know, I had to use a feed the serpent on their on their battle mammoth, so. Blade Walker. It's a nice play there. Now they can crew and attack with chariot, make a token. We're probably gonna lose this one, I think. No shame in that. We're gonna be playing this recluse just to block, I think. Well, we got plenty of lands in this card, so that's not a big deal at least. Yeah, opponent just kinda having the nuts here, and they still got something they can do. Jesus. Jesus. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we're definitely playing this just to block their Seekus Chariot. I could foretell this. I could also just play this. Yeah, I think we're just playing this for now, just to draw another card. Okay, Crippling Fear is a very real card right now. And how we can catch back up in this game, so... We just hold back here because we're just trying to preserve our life total right now, I think. I do probably want to just foretell this though, right? Do this. Tap. You, I guess. Hopefully they just go a little bit wider. Yikes! Jesus. Okay, well, we still get to blow this out a little bit, but man, that's... Okay, and that's fine, too. So we'll take four here. We have a crippling fear of our own, luckily, but man, what a... What a turn of events. So we'll say... Something super... God, that changeling's gonna live, though. That's super frustrating. One, two, three, four. Uh, Eldrazi. That damn Eldrazi over there is still living though. Uh, so here I think we're just playing this uh, Feldmaster out just to again block that chariot. But they can't crew it yet. So maybe, you know, a top deck war, we can get out of here. I say that as they draw Spirit of the Elder Guard. <clears throat> I think I got a block here. Okay, pack mate's not too bad. Play that and draw a card. Path the World Tree's actually not bad either. Let's go get another Black Source. And we'll pass the turn here. This can be a nice trade because I can I can block here. God, can you stop opponent? Jesus, what a deck they had. Man. Um, and I think we do need to kill that now. Let's block here. Finish that off. Okay, well, not a bad top deck there. Let's first go ahead and try to get some damage in. Okay. 
to gain some life and play a 6-6. Six, six. Replicating Ring will pop off here in a little bit, though we don't really have anything we can really do with it for now, but we'll have plenty of mana. They've only got two cards in hand, so of course one of them would be Feed the Serpent. Opponent's deck is insane. Yikes. Let's uh, go to Tex. <clears throat> well, no Death Touch creatures for them. They get to pop off of this here in a little bit. Well, actually, they can't yet. They don't have a blue or what. That's actually kind of annoying. Okay, we have all the mana in the world. God, if we can find that. We haven't used Starnheim Unleashed yet, right? Okay, we still got Starnheim Unleashed to look forward to, and it is going to be so huge once we find it. Only 14 cards left in the deck, so hopefully it's just not the very bottom card. Another binding. My goodness, opponent. Come on, Starnheim. Not it either, but uh, boasting is just a way we can keep searching for land here if we get to boast. One face like, like Splash Colors for Path to World Tree. Okay, they don't have any basic lands left. That's good. Alright. Sparrow Sentinel. Can we boast multiple times here? Let's see. We can't. Go ahead and just play this down. 11 cards left in the deck. We still have our big bomb to look forward to, which can just win the game here if we find it. Even another Crippling Fear wouldn't do it. Okay, not a big deal there. We've got to find it soon, though. Spirit is a card. Okay, that gets the Woodland Chasm. Let's go ahead and do this here now. Eight cards left in the deck. Okay. Woodland Chasm coming intact. I'm going to be so sad if it's like our last card and we don't get to get to it in time. That's pretty good. So I think we want our 6-6, six, six, right? Actually, I think I want the pack mate. Just to draw a card, just to give us a better chance of finding that Starnheim. We have a four. Okay, this works too. We have a 14-14 now, by the way. So we can safely swing in with all these. Take this out of there. It's crazy. Okay, getting down to 10. Player land. Yeah, baby, we got there against this nutty deck, too. There's our Starnheim. We still foretell that. We still play our land. We're not there yet, but... I think we just want Feed the Serpent on top of our decks. So we have removal here. Got him down to two. I still want to cast this just to see what happens. Hopefully they don't concede here. That ain't gonna do it. Good game upon it. That was a great game. Holy crap. I'm gonna cast this just to do it. Alright, so opponents left the building. They mad. They big mad. And we get there. Alright, 4-0. That's a lot better start than I thought I'd have this kind of thing. Here, I don't play seal. Let's see where we're at on the uh, rewards in this thing now. Even if you make all seven wins, you still don't make your money back, which is kind of insane. That's what day two is for. It's currently 800 gems. Alright, well, 4-0. Let's go ahead and play another. Alright, game number five against Throknoff. Let's see if we can keep this momentum going. Try to pick up a dub on the play. Good hand. We keep these. I'll, uh, <clears throat> the plan here for sure is to foretell this on two, play Path the World Tree on three, more than likely, just to get a, a, a planes to make sure we can get that going. Okay, or we just naturally draw a planes because we're insane. So now uh, we foretell this and probably, probably just Horizon Seeker. <clears throat> kind of just curve out here a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a frog in my throat. Yep, here's going to play out 
the horizon seeker pass the turn opponent on mono green thus far okay still mono green old growth troll that is a problem so now i think we just play out the pagmate plan to possibly double block here Ooh, ring ring feels pretty good <clears throat> I don't think we can get greedy and wait to do a huge star high on leash with them being a having a girl, old growth troll already. But kudos to them being able to hit old growth troll with like some triple green here on curve is nice. Ooh. Opponent playing some big, big creatures. Thanks for telling this for now. Though, hmm, maybe we want. Nah, we just want to tell this. Pass turn. Like if they want to keep on not attacking, I'll be pretty happy about that. <clears throat> Jesus. Their creatures are huge. Gruel smash. Gruel smashing me. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, we take eight here. So we have to start an Unleash now. We really don't have a choice. Or do we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So X, one, two, three, four, five, six. Gosh, it's unfortunate because I really don't want to have to lose this, but I think we I think we have to. So we'll hold back here. At the very least, this pack mate can block the Basalt Ravager. A Feed the Serpent would be really nice for this Olga Troll to exile that and get it out of here. They still have a Foretell card. I'm assuming it's probably a Cerulf's pack mate or something like that. Red hardly has like anything. <clears throat> we had a nice little start here, but man, just... Mono 4-4 four, four dot deck. Yeah, they just got it all right now, man. Not much you can really do with that. Really? Again? Okay, well. Oh, boy. Can't take eight. I don't want to do that either. This is not going the way we wanted. We got to be on the play and everything, though. So, we can't really complain too much. Spirit of the Alder Guard doesn't do a lot here. We're not hitting any of our snow stuff. But it can be enough to double block this old Grove Troll. Let's go find Ice Tunnel. Maybe we can get out of this alive somehow. Packmate draw card. Okay. Doesn't do much whenever they're playing four fours, but dang it, we can try. We came back to win a game we should have won already, so try to double block here. They still get to remove a thing and get their old gold troll essentially back. Okay, that's actually not bad because then we can bring it back again and get another snow uh, permanent. We trying to fight back, baby. Ice Shaper is interesting. Fearless Liberator. And they can still do this into turn. It's pretty rough, man. So let's go ahead. There's no way they just take that block if we attack into it, right? And I don't think I can afford to 
get got here. But maybe I just leave them with an eye shaper. Let's go for it and see what they do. <clears throat> I'm going to be able to return something to the battlefield anyway here. They didn't fall for it, y'all. Turn a target's card. I think it's just a pack mate again. So we can draw a card. Now this does leave us pretty just dead to removal, but I think we have to do this for now. At least our crippling fear can name Wolf and be okay there. Um, okay. Do this. Oh, we get to do two damage to a one target creature, so we actually might get to do some things here. Uh, we need more black, right? No. I guess we didn't leave more white just for anything. Let's just get snow covered something, though, for now. Play the Woodland Chasm. take this block for now, get him down. That's gonna die anyway. I think we just have to do this. Hope that they boast it at least. We do go to two here, so we're still just in a lot of danger. But Path of the World Tree does let us Dang, they had it. Good damn opponent, they had all the answers there. Well done. We were so close to stabilizing too. Alright, we take our first loss there. Still 4-1, not too bad. Let's go ahead and play another. Alright, next team here is against Heisen OG. Let's see if we can bounce back. Kind of funny we get beat up by an aggressive deck when I was just talking about, like, the beginning of saying how aggressive decks just aren't good in this. Uh, this is very unfortunate we don't have a green source because otherwise this would be okay. I still maybe keep this just on the off chance because I get to, uh, foretell this on two. And we're on the draw. So this is like a mega risky keep, but this hand is gas if we can actually draw what we need. Okay, Starnheim. Also, not a bad thing to pick up here with the white source. Gotta draw our green source, though. 100% gotta draw our green source. That's not it, either. Um, for now, we're just gonna foretell this one. Yeah, I could play that as like a 3-mana 4-4 four, four Flyer Vigilance, but don't think that's in the cards for now. Okay, they got a Horizon Seek of their own. We're still not finding any freaking... Oh, boy. Where's her green mana? The mana we play the most of in this deck. I think this is a calculated risk, but... <clears throat> it's a calculation that thus far is not paying off. Okay, they boast here, get a forest. Oof. Again, opponent just doing the nuts to us here so far. We can't, this is absolutely ridiculous actually. Um, Jesus. And, I, and it's, it's, you know, part of this is on me for keeping a hammer no green, but you would think that's the color we play the absolute most of by a long shot, uh, that we'd find that color of mana somewhere. I think I have to just flash this in and block for now. I really don't want to. But mm. if they want to keep boasting, they can keep boasting. Like that's not really doing too much. If that's all they're doing. The good news is, if we had an untapped plan here, we can at least make two four fours. 
Even if it's on a green source. The green source lets us play Path the World Tree, get another green source, and do something else. Okay, well, this is, again, just kind of silly, but we'll, we'll play this Star Hunt Unleashed since we can't find any of our green cards for now. I don't think I blocked this Horizon Seeker. I can still have that red for tail for one, do four damage spell. But I don't want to get combat tricked or anything. Plays a card. Waking Trolls. Well, that's my blue source, but... This is insane. Absolutely freaking insane, man. 13 cards to this deck and not a single green source to speak of. Luckily, we may not have to worry about these 4-4 Trolls. We just kill them before then. So they just don't have removal. Sentinel's annoying just because it has reach, and that can block our stuff, which again is annoying. Give us a green source, though. Come on, game. Okay, yeah, like, none of this scares me. That's a good card. Oh my goodness, that's a good card. This makes 4-4 four, four trolls, so we can't really worry about that. So we say Angel here. Huge draw there. They'll make a lot of trolls here. Trample, but not reach. If we get there without ever drawing a green source. Let's go! Never drew the main card in our deck, or any main color, and we still get there. Holy crap. Alright, five and one here. Let's go. Alright, next team here is against Irony SG. Let's see if we can pick up win number six on the draw again. We, we had a good little run on the play, and now it's been, I think, three games in a row on the draw. Same spot as last time. And again, I think I keep this one because we once again actually have, like, turn two this, turn three Vargoth, and the Vargoth can get us a uh, force if we need. Ooh, Ascendant Spirit is actually a little terrifying here. That thing can do some work if left unchecked. Curious to see if they have the actual snow mana to make it work, though. Assuming something gets foretold here. It seems like it's always a thing to do with, uh, with this so far is turn two, you're foretelling, or you're playing whatever two drop you randomly have. Yup. Okay, that's a planes. Pass the turn, huh? If I get a green source. I'm not even sure which one I play, to be honest. Well, I get a green source, I'll probably just place a roll. Well, no, we want to be mana efficient, though. Yeah, so right now there's... Okay, that's a snow mana. Jesus. And the fun thing here is it becomes a 2-3 that can still block their Ascendant Spirit if they try to buff it, which is nice. And I'm okay trading. I think I'm okay trading here. Funny how planes is the least played color of our deck, and we're drawing all of them. Let's see what they got for us. They could just have like a feet the serpent here or something. Okay, all here, Raven. Okay, well now we don't really have to worry about boasting as much. I don't think I can really afford to hold back here or, or attack right now either. So I think we're just, we're telling this. 
Pass the turn. Makes for a good blocker. And we can bring it back with the turn of the tide if we need to. That was a good land to hit because it gives us double black for the uh, Feed the Serpent. So they get another Snow Permanent. They can make this a 4-4 four, four Flyer, which is spooky because that's 7 on the air. Cast the pack mate. There's all of our green mana. We have five mana here. I think the play here is to play Horizon Seeker and Pack Mate. Let's play the Pack Mate first. Could foretell that, but I think again we just want to get this down. And then this next turn, I think this is when I go search for Starnheim Unleashed. Put that on top of the deck. Not too worried about our life total right now, because we have this uh, this worm. A little 6-6 six, six action here. <clears throat> Ascended Spirit with Replicating Ring is actually pretty pretty scary. But again, if they, you know, they sink all their mana that, we just feed the Serpent and kill it. So Grizzly. Grizzly's big, but our Limworm is bigger. So I think for now I'm, I'm attacking and boasting with this. So let's go searching. I knew exactly what we wanted. Uh, we can't do that yet, can we? Foretell this. Oh, shoot. I could have played that. My bad. I was in combat. That was stupid of me, but that's okay. That's okay. So, we're getting close to being able to... We're still going to foretell this and should be able to play the Linworm also, I think. We definitely got to play this Linworm because so we got to gain some life here at some point. Um, don't really want to go to five either. So I think I gotta just jump here. It doesn't have trample or anything. So as much as I'd love to have like a bigger uh, Stormheim unleashed, just don't think it's quite in the cards for now. Gosh, gosh. So returning. The Sentinel is actually not too awful here, I don't think. I think we have to do this. This is kind of a weird play. We gotta do this first. Do this, returning Jaspar Sentinel, which is an elf to make two 1-1s. One so we can chump this. Hopefully, surely they don't play like Negate or something. Oh, God, okay. Yikes. Uh, we're in trouble now. We're in big trouble. I really needed that to resolve. That's so unfortunate. Who plays the Stainful Stroke? I mean, I guess the Stainful Stroke is actually good here. Sorry, y'all, about my cat. It won't shut the hell up. All right, well, I'm down to time. We probably just lost this game there. Brutal, brutal counter spell. Counter spell. We can gain four life, go to six, but that's just not going to be enough. One, two, three. So we have to play this on his face now. And then hold up. Feed the serpent. And I think we have to do this now since they're tapped out. I mean, we're still just dead, though. Good game, opponent. Let's try to see if we can get these last last, last two wins here. Let's go. Alright, possibly the last game today here is against Hootilihoot. See if we can get there on the drop, man. We were we were on like such a hot little run here, and then we've had to be on the draw like every game and not have green mana. 
Uh, but uh, once again, it's still a keeper just because the replicating ring here on three, we just need to draw any land and we have our green source there. We also have a good way to come back here with a crippling fear. I'm just going to draw just Spar Sentinel. Screw you, just Spar Sentinel. What a. I mean, we've had a lot of luck in this thing too, so I can't say too much, I guess. But that just feels bad, you know? Go ahead, foretell this. Turn three, we'll play the Replicating Ring and Spar Sentinel. We got some World Tree action, okay. The amount of cards we're drawing that are not green is kind of hilarious. All right, just Spar Sentinel. Bam, we got a blocker. That hawk ain't going nowhere. We have stopped the Hawk Beats. And now that we have this ramp out, we definitely want to find our Starheim. Oh, like your, your card's better off doing... Doing its no things anyway. If this is a combat trick and they want to use it to kill a Sentinel, like by all means, go ahead. Okay. Again, we're just let's get our snow covered forced. I think we just make them discard some cards now. Don't think you can really wait until they're able to make you draw cards. So if I can find one of my dual lands, then this path to World Tree will be online, which is cool. Okay. Magda, nice. That eats a crippling fear all day. Again, we name Eldrazi. And even though that thing's a 3-4 right now, it's not going to stay a 3-4. So get that out of here. Replicating Ringo Burr! Okay. So now I can still flash this in and hold up Feed the Serpent this way. That's fine, I don't care about that. Let's go ahead and just get this in there now. Okay, we're drawing all the crappy cards in our deck. I think I'll offer this trade up if they want to. Okay, that's three points of free damage. Replicating ring getting there. Okay, that's actually a little annoying. So it's hard creature. Okay. I think we just let that go for now. Yeah, like I just don't care about that right now. It's a two five, like whatever. If they want to hold it back, they can hold it back. Sure. Not afraid of taking two damage. We're taking. We're swinging for four. So, God, we're just drawing lands now. Come on. Target opponent to one creature. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't care about attacking here. So that just Spartan Sentinel does let us do this. Okay. Um. So we'll path now. Again, just thin this deck out a wee bit. Uh, we still probably need more black than anything. Now we're starting to get to the point where we're, we're going to want to uh, feed the serpent on that at some point. Well, well, they're both a little spooky. Golly, can we can we stop this? Three, 
four, five. So I think we, hmm. at least want to do this now. Well, I'll do it end of turn. For now, we'll just foretell this. Hold up, feed the serpent, and uh, world tree activation here. We'll exile. Goodbye, my little 3 2. Like, there wasn't much point in playing the pack mate because it just gets exiled anyway. Okay, so they got world tree things going on now. But again, in limited, I don't think that's super scary. I'll take the three, and if they start pumping this a bunch, then I'm going to exile it. Okay. I'd like to just pop this world tree is what I want to do. Okay. That's a little spooky, actually. Dang, I did have the mana to play that earlier. That was kind of my fault there. Another pack mate's good. Spirit's not too bad either, especially this replicating ring. This is about this is about to be huge. Okay. So we play spirit here. Since it'll be a big old boy. Guess an ice tunnel. We've already played land, okay. Um I wanna do this and still hold up. To feed the serpent. So let's go ahead and play this pack mate here. Now combat's getting interesting for him. Okay, again, more lands. So I can still foretell this. And then still have feed the serpent held up here. So I actually like that. No attacks here. We go ahead and just pass the turn. <clears throat> So I'm going to block with the Sentinel this time. Just in case they have a way to like counter my removal spell here and blow me out here. Guess I could do one, two, three. Actually, that's still not that bad. But I'm going to, I'm, I plan on killing it here anyway, I think. Uh, yeah, I need to get a blockers here. Top of you. See that last card is a counter spell. If it is, at least we're getting out of their hand too. We have these two pa uh, pack mates to draw cards. This is about to pop off, so our spirit's about to be huge. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, punish like hell. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That's so bad for us. No. We can't get any more punish than that. Like, that's the biggest bomb. We're drawing nothing but lands, too, once again. Jeez. We can still get there with the big Starnheim, which we still yet to freaking find. Indestructible. Wait. Indestructible doesn't mean it can't be fed the serpent and they're tapped out. Whoo. And just to make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Okay. Yeah. Get out of here. Whoo. If we can say we lived to beat a serpent here, we'll be very happy. I'm okay trading two for one with any of these, I think. I'm 
I think you can swing with that too. Let's get in there. Oh man, what a draw. What a freaking draw. Happy to kill their two creatures there. So they're in top deck mode. We have a huge board now. Okay, they foretell there, which means they can't do anything this turn. This Horizon Seeker will at least let us uh, thin the deck out a little bit. That's a, that's a card. Let's get to swinging. Don't have to worry about mana. That's totally fine with me. <clears throat> we still have some really good cards in the deck we just haven't drawn yet. They take this out, go to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and get down to five. We play this big old six six here, so unless they draw the gas, we get there. Gain some life. I don't like that they're doing math. Is that enough? It's not enough. Good game opponent. Oh, we got there. Alright, that brings us to six wins. So the last game here, this is the win and end. Win here, we make day two, lose, fall just short. Let's see how it goes. Alright, the last game of the day here is against Makikado. Win, and we're going to day two for a chance of $2,000. We get to be on the play, and we have a reasonable hand. Okay. A little bit awkward not having the two-drop thing to do here, but Crippling Fear can get us out of some danger. We don't have a black source this time, uh, but Red Union can help with that. We, we play a decent amount of black in this deck. It's funny how we keep drawing so much planes whenever that's the least play killer we have here. Okay. Nothing doing a slow start for us, but we're kind of a slower deck anyways. Right now, I think we just want to get... Well, the shield's down. Maybe we want to get down. Hmm. Nothing on three that I'm super worried about. So yeah, I think I actually just want to get this Horizon Seeker down. I think it's a little bit more important than the Replicating Ring right now. Just having a creature on board and somewhat of a clock. Okay. That ain't bad. Um, so here I think I search for a black source and let me foretell this skull raid. Let's see what they do here. Let's go get another black source real quick. And then go ahead and foretell here, pass the turn. Okay, Behold was their Fertel card, so that's out of the way at least. It's always kind of relieving they play those just, just to get them out. Obviously, Behold, Behold is a very good card, though. And they bottom two there. That's pretty nice. Really wishing they would just, you know, do something to commit to the board here so my Crippling Fear would be good, though. There you go. That's a start. Okay, more. More black. Let's go ahead and do this now. And I think we just go ahead and do this now, just to get some cards out of there, see what they're working with. <clears throat> Two lands, okay. We need to draw some actual threats now. People keep attacking on this card, and I feel like they're supposed to be holding it back, but what do I know? This walker is annoying. This card is just trying to haunt us. Here, I think we go ahead and just not play that. I think he's going to play the pack mate now. Don't counter me, bro. Don't you disdainful stroke me. Thank you. Okay, another land. Well, we're getting all the lands out of our deck, so... Uh, that's a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Eight of our 14 draws. So over half our draws have been lands, but like I said, we're filtering through here a little bit. 
So you almost like want them to like channel stuff into that just so that's kind of like their turn and that's all they're doing. Well, I think we have to. Okay. Vargroth, we definitely get down here. And I think just so they don't have counter magic, we do need to just get rid of that ravenous limworm there. Let's go ahead and just get that out of the way. And since I can't block, let's get the swing. So we use this to go find our Starnheim Unleashed. That's actually kind of annoying. But if they're you know if they're paying to equip this, they're really not doing too much else. The best thing we can draw here is obviously Starnheim and Leash, but if not, um, another wolf would be good because we can still boat and then play the wolf to go ahead and draw that. So plenty of mana for opponent here. God, this crippling fear is looking so terrible right now. Hey, what did I say? So we go to attacks here. Let's see if they block. And I'm actually okay trading that. That's a great block for us. Let's go ahead, find our Starnheim. Definitely crazies there. Let me play this now. So we can draw a card. And then for tell it. They're down to two cards in hand. Now obviously two five can block our creatures well and they can trade, but if they trade, uh, then it's still, you know, they trade. I'm so scared of a counter spell here now that I think I'm actually just gonna wait and place a little bit safe. Let's go to attacks and see if they decide to block. Because they do, I can crippling fear, and if they counter, that's one counter out of the way. Okay. So we choose wolf here. And again, if it counters it, that's counter out of their hand. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Shit. My bad. I guess I could... Yeah, that was totally my fault there. Whoopsie daisy. I want to flash this in on end step. See if they hopefully want to counter it. Good. I'm actually happy to see that. It's also just a 3 2 that can block their stuff. Alright, so. X1, 2, X3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we make four of these. I don't think we can make five, right? Okay, we're one mana short. Well, let's go ahead and make four. Okay. These are my four fours. Definitely not out of this yet, but that's a good step to getting us out of it at least. Swinging for 16 in the air. Okay. I think I'm just jump blocking for now. If 
I know I can maybe kill that. Okay, so they put a land. They probably re-equip this back here, I'd imagine. Like, if that's their play every turn, it's not too concerning. Path the World Tree would be a really nice draw here. Sword of the Realms, that's a little bit scary. Okay, well they're out of cards now at least. As I was saying, Path the World Tree would be a good draw now. Um, I think we even attack with this. Just really put the pressure on them here. Get them down to 10. And now I can actually kill that thing. Actually, I can't because I'm one mana. I'm missing the blue mana. Shoot. It's okay, though. I think we have to just take this. Probably equip that to the Miss Walker. I mean, they could equip both of these to the Miss Walker, even. Okay. Definitely no more swings here with this pack mate now. Golly. Still swinging in with all these. Flooding out here, but definitely not all is lost yet. We activate this. Get them down to two. As of now, that's still not going to be enough, though. If they don't have another flyer, we might get there. We just have to hope they don't have a way to give Trample here. Come on, baby. We're so close. Because this will pop off. We can gain some life. We can do some two damage to them. Like, they have to kill us this turn. This is for blue. So they don't have really any way to burn us here. So they have to kill these and a Replicating Ring. Nervous, y'all. Please just play your Raven. Let's go. Okay. Did we just get there? We just get there. Doesn't matter. Let's go! Day two, baby. We're live for a chance of $2,000. Oh, you love to see it. Now we have to do a little pose in front of the seven wind screens, seven wind screens so I can post it on Twitter. Some of this right here. Let's take a look at the deck one more time, baby. Let's go. All right, so actually, we can't look at the deck again one more time, so bye bad there. But hey, we are qualified for day two, y'all. This is the first time I've ever been day, uh, qualified for day two in any of these. So that's exciting. Uh, I'm not sure if day two is best of one or best of three, but either way, uh, we'll do our best to just put Starheim Unleashed in our pack because that's that card is just one of the biggest bombs in this whole format. Hope y'all enjoyed this. We're going to day two. See y'all next time. Let's go.